This comes from Christian, not me, somebody else. Uh, are there any Outlook 365 sys admins in here that can settle a debate? We've got a company email account, support at, that needs to forward to one external Gmail address. So leave a copy within that uh, inbox. The IT department is telling our boss, external forwarding is a huge security issue. I suspect uh, that the IT company just doesn't want to turn on the allow individual inbox forwarding. And we suspect that's maybe because he's stuffing the license. What are your thoughts here? One is simple forwarding while leaving the local copy in the inbox. Really a big security issue that a simple non-government company would have to worry about. And two, is it possible that they are reselling the same license for multiple companies on the same box? Uh, the answer to that is, are you ready for it? It depends. Huh. It depends. As far as general forwarding outside of your room for outside of your organization, uh, as uh, just a rule of thumb, particularly automatic forwarding, there are a couple of things that get involved with that. The first, of course, as he mentions, there security information. You could be leaking stuff out to people who you think are one thing, or whose positions change, or God only knows what, and they can be taking that information and doing something with it. So that's that's the one hand that you have to deal with with that sort of a thing. Another thing, and the other reason that back in the old days it was suggested to kill auto forwarding is uh, vacation responses of all things. You and go go off and you send you an email or some automatic thing sends off an email to a, an email address someplace outside the organization. Outside person has got his uh, vacation response turns on. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm not here. You know, call me on such and such a day. Well, that goes back to the to, to, to the first email server. And now it's, oh, but I'm a vacation response myself or I'm a, I didn't get this or something didn't work. So it sends a thing back and you get into this nasty little loop that can bring an email server down in no time. So that's a, that, that was the big reason that they originally turned it out. Of course, as, as, as security progresses and the lack of things and the intent of people to try to glean information, then yes, it's an important thing to not have forwarding turned on. But further to your question, uh, turning on a single or several single sources to, so let's say it's a specifically known inbox and you have got Google security on their end and your security on your end and you're mailing it to an inbox that is not going to on for, for any reasonable reason reject your email and, and start some kind of a loop like this, then it's perfectly simple. As as to whether the what 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 your IT people are doing, that's that that's kind of up to them. I can appreciate the fear of not turning on general auto forwarding to the internet, but for a specific use case, if it's a business type of the thing, there's no reason not to. Thank you.